and she is also saving Ro from being isolated. She's bringing the two together, actually. Today we hear of poets who are doctors, who are engineers, who, who study and poetry connected with medicine, poetry connected with ecology, poetry connected with engineering, poetry connected with business. One businessman asks his uh, employers to bring him general managers who are all poets. He said, I want them to be poets because he understands that probably when they deal with business, which is such a hard fact, you know, hard thing to deal with, uh, they have to put some feeling, some, some, some sort of understanding, some human emotion in their work as well. Uh, to be even more yani, clear in the matter, I asked my doctor to read the literature. Uh, and he looked at me surprisingly. I'm a doctor, he said. I have nothing to do with literature. I said, read poetry in particular, not just literature. And after some time, he you know, accepted the point. And I, I gave him a book of English poetry. He knows English, all right? The reason why I said this to him, because I have noticed that in his dealings with his patients, he was a little bit rough for them, not impatient with them. So I thought he should change this attitude. That this is not very human. And believe me, after some time, I asked his patients whether he has changed it, and they tell me he's a different man now. Poetry is that. Of course, I was uh, very clearly said, uh, poetry does not change the law itself, or the rules of the law, but it changes the man himself. And if the man changes, then of course uh, he will and his attitude uh, towards whoever they deal with would be different. We must acknowledge uh, all of us examiners who teach you know, in different universities in Iraq that we are having students who are excellent, who are doing works that, believe me, uh, by with work in the Western universities. They are introducing new subjects. They are doing such a lot of amount of research. And they are finding great, great sources which dazzle. Actually, what has dazzled me even. And at the mouth, she has found the books, the articles, the sources. She was unremitting in her, in her research. And uh, we should be proud of that. And we should also feel that they are our universities are, are in good hands in the future. We are not going to stay. They are going to take our place in the future. And they are, these universities are in good hands. Wonderful English, wonderful research, wonderful work.